for this first question, we're looking at a car advertisement states that a certain car can accelerate from rest to 24 kilometers per second in 7 seconds. Find the car's average acceleration. Okay? So first thing to note, um, we've got 24 kilometers per second, but what's, what's cool about that is at least we have seconds and seconds here. So we can still use this unit. We don't need to transfer it or change it to, change it to meters per second. Um, okay, so let's find our known values first. So we know that it accelerates from rest to 24 kilometers per second. So it's going from zero to 24. And because it's kilometers per second, or what we looked at earlier, meters per second, this is going to be our velocity. All right. If I go down here to change in velocity, I know that this car is going for, and I'm going to write this down here, it's going from zero, and I'm going to draw an arrow, so from rest to 24 kilometers per second. And so my change in velocity will be 24 kilometers per second. Boom, we'll just box that guy. All right, and then um, <clears throat> got a change in time. So it just says seven seconds. We, don't, we aren't given two different times. We have to find the difference between. So our change in time is seven seconds. And I don't yet know. Um, what the acceleration is. We're trying to find the car's average acceleration, so we don't know that yet. So now let's plug this stuff into our equation. So we've got um, average acceleration equals change in velocity over change in time. So I'm going to rewrite this whole thing, put a little squiggly here. So average acceleration we're trying to find equals my change in velocity. All right, We went from 0 to 24, so my change in velocity will be 24 kilometers per second. All right. And then my time, change in time, we wrote it over there, is 7 seconds. <clears throat> okay, cool. So we plugged it into the equation, and we're going to keep the units in there, because those are going to be important later on. And now we're going to go down to the divide part right here. So average acceleration, so A equals, I'm going to rewrite everything from up there, 24 kilometers per second divided by 7 seconds. All right. Um, <clears throat> now we have to... Divide. Okay. The first thing, the first thing that we can do, um, well, let's let's divide first. We can we can we can deal with these units in a second. So um, first thing we'll do is we'll divide. So we've got seven. How many times seven is going to twenty-four? So seven into twenty-four. <clears throat> okay. So seven goes into two zero times. Seven goes into twenty-four. Let's see, three times. Okay, that gives me 21. <clears throat> Subtract uh, 24 from 21, I get 3, and I'll put my decimal point there, and then up here as well with the 0. Okay, um, bring that down. 7 goes into 30, let's see. Um, 28, so 4 times. So 28, subtract that. Um, I'll get, let's see, 30 minus 28, I'll get 2. <clears throat> and we're gonna stop there. Um, I just want to get it. I just want you to get a general idea of what this is gonna be. So now we have our acceleration is equal to 24 kilometers per second divided by seven seconds, and we got 3.4. Okay. Now we're gonna write our answer with units over here. So I'm gonna keep all the units right here, and I'm just gonna have 3.4 on the top. I'll show you what I mean. So I'll have 3.4. So average acceleration equals 3.4. And then at the top, we had kilometers per second, right? And on the bottom, we're dividing by seconds, kilometers per second. And on the bottom, we're dividing by seconds, okay? So we talked about earlier the two different ways you're going to see acceleration written. Is that they're going to be kilometers per second per second, okay? Or kilometers per second squared, or you'll see it as meters per second second or meters per second squared. So I'm going to write this instead of like this. I think the neater way to write it is to write 3.4 kilometers per second squared. Great. And that's just saying that every second that goes by, this car can accelerate by 3.4 kilometers per second. So for each second that goes by in those seven seconds, it's going 3.4 kilometers faster.